One of the most polarizing figures from the 2010 election back in the news. Federal prosecutors are now looking at complaints that Republican Senate candidate and Tea Party favorite Christine O'Donnell illegally spent campaign money on herself. We're going to ask O'Donnell about this in a moment. But first, CBS News chief legal correspondent Jan Crawford is in Washington and has details. Jan. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Good morning. Uh, well, you know, it was her that surprising win in the Delaware Senate primary that put Christine O'Donnell in the national spotlight. And Harry, that spotlight is still shining bright. No more politics as usual. But Christine O'Donnell was not the usual politician either. I'm not a witch. I'm nothing you've heard. She rallied voters angry at the Republican establishment and set a state record by raising more than $7 million before she lost to Democrat Chris Coons in the general election. But throughout the campaign, stories swirled that O'Donnell was using campaign funds inappropriately. Her financial disclosure forms indicated that in the 18 months before the race, she had earned only $5,800. Two former staffers have accused her of paying for rent, meals, gas, and other personal expenses with political contributions, which is barred under federal election rules. In September, a left-leaning watchdog group, Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics, filed a complaint. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Delaware said it was reviewing the allegations. O'Donnell's campaign manager, Matt Moran, flatly denied the charges. Let us be clear, there was no impermissible use of campaign funds, period. O'Donnell has acknowledged paying part of her rent with campaign money, but says she used her house as campaign headquarters. Now, in a statement Wednesday, she said the allegations were political dirty tricks and designed to undermine Tea Party candidates leading up to the 2012 presidential elections. Harry. Jan Crawford in Washington, thanks.